Okay, welcome to a very special edition of This and That with Ryan Lang here it's on so 1590. Special. It is special because we've never done anything with cameras, and now oh, I'm already breaking the fourth wall here. The very first thing I've done is broken the fourth wall. You. We've got cameras in studio here now because we're doing something really, really cool. Angel Moore here with me, Rubber City Radio Group, sales extraordinaire. And 97.5 Sunday mornings with Angel. Sunday mornings. With Angel, what time? 7? 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Sundays, check that out on 97.5 W-O-N-E. Angel, you're into ghosts. Uh, very much so. Yeah, me too. I am too. Yeah. And we both kind of figured out that we should do something. We've done a couple of episodes of this and that with Ryan. Yeah, we're the weird kids. We are the weird kids. Mm -hmm. We've done aliens. Uh, we've done conspiracy theories, yeah. And we decided that it's high time that we do ghosts or at least kind of a ghostly history i'm a little nervous i am too i'm not gonna lie i'm nervous one because there are cameras on us i'm breaking the I'm fourth nervous wall again. Too because i hear we're meeting with the historian we are of akron right yeah. another two-time guest of this and that with ryan lang leslie rarick from akron noir alley on facebook check that out if you haven't yet check that out on facebook Oh, hey. Leslie! Good How to see are you? Guys. Good to see you. Doing well. Hi, Hi Leslie, Angel. Angel. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Pavona's. Yeah, this place is great. I know, getting right? All the Halloween feels. It's a good vibe. So, Leslie, let's talk a little bit first of all, just kind of a background about Akronor Alley, your Facebook group. I'm a, a member of the group. I love mm -hmm. all the content. Mm -hmm. Tell us kind of the concept behind that. Um, I wanted to explore the historical, you know, bowels of Akron, the crime, the the dirty, seedy part that not a lot of people talk about. My favorite so, part. Yeah, the cool part. <laughs> right. There's so many Facebook pages already about crime, mm -hmm. you know, current crime that's happening or who's breaking into whose car. I really wanted to go back and um, explore some of those darker stories. Um, we touch on the mafia. We touch on cold case history. Um, you know, of course, you know, murders. And there's uh, a lot of persons. that in Akron, right? More than you know. Right? Yes. That's amazing. Yes. Like, all that history. And there. you start connecting the dots once you, you know, click on one thing that's happened, all these other coincidences or all these other events kind of culminate. And right. that's how we came, how I came upon the murder house. Yeah. And so yeah. the murder house, I know you've got all kinds of inquiries into it. What is the murder house? Yeah. Where is <laughs> so it? The, Highland Square is my stomping ground. So the fact that right. there's even a murder house there. Right. Like, right. I'm moving there. This is freaking me out a little bit. Because you're the murderer. No! Oh, God. God, no. You've said too much. <laughs> I already figured it out. I figured it out. I walked into it. So where where is the murder house? Sure. The, the murder house is actually an apartment building. Mm -hmm. It's at 21 South Highland Avenue. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're on Market Street, you're right there at Angel Falls. Just turn the corner and... Um, it's just a few buildings down. I think it's painted blue okay. right now, the facade, but we'll go and check that out later. Oh man, <laughs> I'm getting the chills. So in the, the Halloween spirit, there are actually 13 apartments oh. there, oh. which is creepy. And yes. It sets the, the tone of the story. Yeah. Um, but I was doing some research for my for Noir Alley, and I wanted to tell the story of Winda Snipes. And she was a woman who was um, horribly mutilated and murdered in that building in 1997. And um, they, they caught her killer. He was a casual acquaintance. He was um, a drinking buddy, sometimes lover. Um, and he ended up being executed. They caught him and... Uh, Just recently, right? Well, this is, yeah, he was executed in 2012. Okay. Lethal injection. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And up until his execution, and correct me if I'm wrong here, he was kind of saying that he didn't. Or, yes. What was the story behind his, his story, I guess? His attorney definitely was, wanted to place him at his house during that time. Okay. And there was some question about um, a clock on her wall that was knocked over or broken mm -hmm. during the course of the murder so they have a pretty definitive idea of when exactly oh, wow. she was murdered oh wow interesting so, so interesting. it was all about the timeline he called the police to report the body 
Really? Yeah. Saying that he kind of found the body. Yeah, he said that there was a body. Actually, I think he tried to make an anonymous call to the police, which oh. didn't work out for him. Clearly. Um, oh. He said, hold on, let me look at my Is he from notes. Akron as well? He was. He lived right down the street in West Hill. Okay. Um, they oh, would, my gosh. You know, they would frequent the bars together. Yeah. She'd get off work, um, and, you know, they'd, they'd go out and have a drink. And, right. Um, he said... Called 911, there's a dead body mutilated in the top left hand corner apartment by Clay. That's so, that gives me the creeps. Hey, here we are. Oh my gosh. Can I believe this? It's also a full moon tonight. Oh my gosh. Is wow. It? I'm going to leave. I'm, wow. I'll be in the car. <laughs> Look at that red light that's I know. like. I noticed that when we walked up, the exit sign is the door. like. I know, it's, it's, it's such an eerie vibe. This is so yeah. cool. I appreciate all the history and just kind of going back to it again. The first murder was 1997, mm -hmm. yeah, and that was Brett Hartman, mm -hmm. and his victim was Windus Snipes. Windus mm -hmm. Snipes, and that was the more than 130 times she was stabbed, body mutilated, the X carved in, the hands cut off. Right. This is so just, it's they, amazing. It all the happened. The fire department, police, they were all up on top of this roof. Um, searching, you know, dumpsters all over back behind these bars, mm -hmm. looking. They couldn't find them. Um, yeah, second victim Did was Did they check 2000. the flower bed? We can... Do you want to take a peek? Oh, I don't. I brought my gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think that our first victim, Winda, would have lived in either this top apartment... What did he say when he called top? He said it was the top left, so I guess if we're this way, it would have been up here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. she would have been up here. And he saw her light on and decided to go over. And the rest is history. Yeah. The poor woman was mutilated. It doesn't look like anyone's living here now. I think it's still under restoration from the 2016 fire. Do we know what time of day? That initial murder happened. Was it night? He called 911 at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. So okay. probably between, I don't know, anywhere where she maybe would have got off work right. until like. And nine we're here 10. now, and it's about nine o'clock. Yeah. It feels creepy. It does feel creepy, and yeah. but there's like a lot of activity, you know, like just right. down the street here. Yeah, right there. Right, right on the West Market. Right there. And I wonder if there was. You know, people walking their dog or something by, like as this is happening. I I'm know. speculating, obviously, I, but it's. I imagine that she was probably strangled first. Yeah. And then it was. There it was. Yeah, there was no screaming or anything that went along with it. Unlike the second victim, you know, Rachel, who was accosted by her neighbor. Looking through the front door, you can kind of see that hallway goes way back there. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Go look through there and see if we can. Oh, uh, hey, maybe you just, Leslie, take care of. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. So I can see the stairwell, and it's just red lights. It's just yeah. creepy red light everywhere. Yeah. It's got that shining feel to it. Yeah, it does. It really does. Ugh. Wow. And this nice spider web. Mm -hmm. yeah, Iron. yeah yeah this is an original you see it's like a deco um spider web i think there might have been glass in here at one point um but hey you guys you know one day it's going to be renovated and you too can live here well and, and you said it doesn't appear that anybody's here now because of the restoration from the fires or yeah it looks completely abandoned yeah. to me we could always walk around back and see if there's any cars parked back there yeah, yeah this wow. is the most as soon as we pass it i was like this has to you be do it this yeah is it. This 1928 is you can imagine it was yeah. pretty happening in place back then and sure. now it has a tragic history it has a vibe um, i don't want to look into the windows too but too deeply like i'm afraid i'm going to see something i don't know. look into the windows no, no. <laughs> oh it's giving me the creeps i love it though this is really cool we really appreciate your your yeah. knowledge and your expertise on yeah. all of this. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for getting um, in touch with me. And this is got really lots neat. more, a lot more stories to tell. And Akron's full of them. We're gonna tell them, me and Angel and Leslie yeah. here on this and that. 
with Ryan Lang. Check us out on YouTube. We're out here. We are out here. We are We're out here. We're in these streets, guys. Come in on. these streets. Yeah. <laughs> well, when I pulled up, I had my GPS on. It says, you have arrived at your final destination. <laughs> You're like, sure it is. Like, and I turned around. <laughs>